Allah says, Ar-Rahman. You know what that means? You cannot be more merciful than that. That is the nth, the most extreme, unlimited form of mercy. Extreme mercy, beyond imagination. The other thing that comes from the language of this word, Ar-Rahman, because it's Sigatul Mubalagha, is that it is happening right now. It's happening right now. It's one thing to say Allah cares. It's one thing to say Allah is loving. It's one thing to say Allah protects. But it's another to say Allah is protecting me when? Right now. He's caring about me right now. He's concerned with me right now. He is delicate with my situation right now. That is the realization inside Ar-Rahman. It forces me to think and it forces you to think, how is Allah showing me love right now? Immediately. Not tomorrow, not later. Every one of us has problems. Every one of us. Maybe you have family problems. Maybe you have husband problems. Maybe you have wife problems. Maybe you have children problems, parent problems, in-law problems, boss problems, worker problems, government problems, immigration problems, economic, you got problems. And we think about our problems all the time. And we don't think about Ar-Rahman all the time. We only think about the problems. We don't think how many problems Allah saved us from. Somebody gets allergies and they complain about their allergies, but they don't think the nose is still on my face. That's Allah taking care of you, my friend. There could be so much worse. There's so much worse that can happen. When a child is born, how many things can go wrong? For those of us that have healthy children, we complain about the grades of our children. They don't pay attention in school. They don't do their homework on time. They com parents complain and complain and complain. If you say, what do you, what do you say about your child? You know, and they'll give you a list of complaints. You know, doesn't go to sleep on time, talks back, doesn't finish dinner, watches too much TV, video games all the time. You know, this, that is a long list. But you know what? If you ever talk to parents who lost a child, if you ever talk to parents who lost a child, you know what they say about their child? They never say he never did his homework, he was always late to school, he always ate too, too little, he was always watching TV. They say, my child was perfect. He was so perfect. He was the best. They only remember the good things. Why is that? A day before you were complaining. You were yelling at him. Because that's human nature. We don't appreciate the things that we have until they're gone. When they're gone, we remember. Now, right now, we're not thanking Allah. We're not realizing how much love He's showing us by protecting our children, by taking care of our family, by giving us our parents. Yes, your parents get angry at you. That's okay, it's a global phenomenon. <laughs> they get angry at you. Those of you that are teenage boys, your father gets mad at you. It's gonna happen. He's gonna yell at you. Anyway, my dad, he does not understand me. He doesn't know. He's always angry. But you know what? Alhamdulillah, he's alive. Alhamdulillah, you have an opportunity to show sabr to him and respect to him so you can earn Jannah with Allah. If you want to know if you're humble or not, see how you are to your parents. If you have an attitude with your parents, don't think about Islam. You're, you're not ready for like what Islam demands for your personality. Allah wants us to be humble. But humble does not mean you, you make salat like a perfect believer, but you show attitude to your father and your mother. Come on. That's not humility, you know. تِلْكَ الدَّارُ الْآخِرَةِ نَجْعُلُهَا لِلَّذِينَ لَا يُرِيدُونَ عُلُوًا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فَسَادًا The last home is built, by, built for people. Allah says, we made the last home for people, Jannah for people who don't want to act up in this world. They don't act like this in this world. They don't show attitude. We have to learn to be humble to our parents, even if you think they're unfair. Even if you think they're unfair. That's part of appreciating the mercy and the love of Allah Azza wa Jal in our lives. This is something that one should think about every day. Just stop at Ar-Rahman. Just stop. And just think, what, what does that mean? What is Allah doing for me? How is, you know, the fact that, for example, it was a dream in my life, I wanted to come to Malaysia. I wanted to, I want to see the Muslims in Malaysia. Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy. I can't thank Allah enough for this opportunity. And just if you reflect about this, I'm on the other side of the planet from where I live. You know, Talking to you folks. Subhanallah. How, how does this happen? This does not happen except by the rahmah of Allah. How many things can go wrong on an airplane that's flying over the oceans? How many things? 
you see a little bit of turbulence and the taqwa goes up, right? <laughs> right? The, the, the plane goes down and the iman goes up. That's like how <laughs> it works. <laughs> you know? SubhanAllah. That's his care. He cares. And he cares about every one of us like that. Sometimes people get depressed. Allah doesn't care about me. Why do I have all these problems? You haven't thought about a Rahman enough. You haven't thought about that enough. You don't have to wait for his care to come. It's already there. It's already there. ويكره قلبي دليل الخطى فات بين أتربي محتقر فات حطم الكفر أسلفه فحطمه الكفر لما هجر أبى أن يطبق إسلامه وكان على قمة تنحدر وشر المصادب يا إخوتي